good morning everyone welcome back to a new vlog your girl is keeping up with the vlogs right i'm actually in a rush but i just wanted to start this little vlog while i actually have makeup on i haven't done my lips yet um but i'm just heading to work i'm gonna take you for another week in the life let's see what i get up to this week and yeah i'll check in with you when i get to let's no hello girls i am the worst vlogger like it's just come apparent to me didn't film anything at elatino and then when we finished there me and chia went and got some sushi did i film any of that no i didn't so didn't film that um <clears throat> i'm now i've got a couple of hours before i start miss swagger um so got to do that so i've got to drive it there so i think i might get myself a starbucks um cheeky little step bikes <clears throat> um and then yeah head to miss swagger jags which i don't feel it like this lighting's doing justice but i really enjoyed my face today my hair's a bit greasy that's not in. I need to wash that tonight. I've got an early start tomorrow. Back to rain, 9 a.m. Anyway, I booked my Dubai flight. Woo! I fly on the 9th at basically 10 p.m. Land 7 a.m. on the Thursday. So I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday's flight day, and then I'm coming home on the Sunday. Short and sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna drive, and then when I get there, if I get there early, I might have a little browse on PLT, see if I can find a replacement for that dress because I'm really emotional about it. Um, but we will see. We will see. How are we all? Just got home from work. Came home to a little lounge delivery. They've got this new. Oh, they've actually sent me the set. I love. What's size thumb did they send me though so girls god that is padded wow wow we wow that looks massive what an f they've got a new bra launching a strapless one that would have launched by the time this video goes up but stop it why does that look so right when i put it on doesn't it that big but off, oh, that is looking ginormous. So they're strapless bras, girls. Look, they've got like silicone rubbery grips. Completely seamless. I just feel like maybe I've got the wrong size. God, the front of my boob is fitting in that. Like the hell I that is gonna cut they look like the camera toe. that is gonna cut my oh that's really sad that's gonna really cut my um my fatty ass like my hip tips i'm gonna try it on over my knickers just quickly and a hundred percent that's not gonna fit me man i need a medium thong oh wait Shut up. That's not even cutting in. Stop it. She's slim. She's lost weight. No. My God, I really thought, why did I think that I needed to stretch it that much? Like, have I got a sample of me? I don't know. I mean, it is cutting in a little bit. Oh. I was gonna wash my hair, it's so greasy, but I think I might risk it and dry shampoo it instead for to for tomorrow because I'm like mentally preparing for um extension day. So I think let's try and get away with it, dry shampooed for tomorrow. And then Thursday we'll slick bun and then Thursday night we will wash it or even Friday morning we'll wash it. I've got my hair at eleven. And then we're doing a giveaway, which this will be up after that. But yeah, we're doing a little giveaway. So 
I really need to wait. Instead of standing here doing this, I'm gonna go to the toilet and I'll check in with you in a bit. Glamorous life of a boxer's girlfriend. I am just running in the bar. Bath salts. Muscle soap. In the bath, ready for when he gets in. Um, and girls, I'm gonna do my first box. I'm gonna get it right now. Wait, that felt a bit cold. Yeah, he's a lot of time. Right, let me see you there. Right. Turn that for a minute. This bad boy. Hello. So we're gonna do my first box. These are so cool. If you've moved house, then you know about these. And if you haven't moved house, then you might not. So that's for a mince pill, but I can't peel it. Oh. God, I hate doing this so much. Moving house is for not for the week. <laughs> Right, girls, I decided I was going to start in here and just put away clothes that I know I'm not going to wear. Like, <clears throat> this is going to get on my freaking nerves. Right. My PLT. I remember they sent me that. Uh, let's just hang. Let's just throw it on the floor. Why not? Everything else is on the floor. Right, it's so the stuff I know I'm not going to wear. I mean, I don't even want that. This is what I mean. Oh, I can't be asked to sell shit. But it's like, how do I know that I'm not going to wear that? Ah, oh, my God. Girls, we nearly had a catastrophic series of events. I got to work. I got my camera out to vlog. And it went beep, 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 beep. Please insert memory card. Didn't have my freaking memory card because I just edited and uploaded my vlog, my last week's vlog, so I didn't have a memory card in my camera. So I have been to work. It was another 5.40 a.m. start. Gross. The sun is shining, which makes me feel silly for being in this coat, but it'll be cold later when I don't have a jumper on. I've literally got a bizarre body suit. Um, <clears throat> so... I did rain this morning. Oh golly gosh. I worked at rain this morning, nine until um, 12. And then I've come home. There was no point in me really coming home. I should have just gone straight to Lakeside, but I just was like, didn't nap. I just edited my thumbnail, uploaded it, washed up and then left again. Oh, I had to change my outfit because I'm working tonight. I'm working at Riri Hair Extensions in Lakeside, um, seven till nine today. So I'm going to Lakeside because I spoke about in my last vlog that I had gained weight um, and that no like jeans or anything fitted me. And I wasn't joking, guys. I wasn't being dramatic or sarcastic or I genuinely I don't have any jeans that fit me. Um, so. I, and obviously I'm moving and I need to pack up stuff to, uh, for it to go into storage so I need to work out what I'm um, just trying to pass a funeral thingy. Um, I need to basically I'm going to buy some new jeans I'm going to Zara and every other jean shop that I know and I'm going to try on some jeans and hopefully find my perfect pair I'm going to get my laser removal done as well. It's so grey now, which is good. But I'm just going to say to her, just zap it. Just whack the power. Because it, she ha it is on like a power thing. So I don't know how powerful she does it. I'm just going to say like, crack it up. Like, make it high. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say, whack that shit up, girl. So I'm going to do that. 
uh, tomorrow and then I'm just gonna go with Swagger Jagger six to eight and then uh, yeah and then Friday's hair day I'm so excited I can't wait but yeah I'll check in with you when I picked up Layla and the sun feels so warm but it's only 14 degrees so let's not get it twisted anyway i'm gonna go because i know that it's fuzzy when i'm in my car because you're sitting on my stereo which likes to vibrate because my car is about 27,000 years old so me and lady have just come to nandini's i have got an iced tea Layla, is that a full fat or have you gone Coke Zero? Full fat. Layla's on the phone. Say hi, Layla. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've gone for a salad and chips and Layla. <laughs> Looks like we. I've never tried this ice tea. You're not gonna have ice. Well, she didn't give me ice. You have to go on and get it. Oh, I've never tried this iced tea before, so I'm gonna give it a rating. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, God, do you know what? That just takes me to a holiday. Because that is all I drink on holidays, iced tea. So, my salad. Layla's. Why does my camera? I think it's broken. It doesn't load. And then obviously, my camera has stopped focusing. I need to get new one. Pair of chips. Yes, please. So I just tried on two pairs of jeans and a cobbled. And the cobbled actually looked better on the hanging than it did on me. It, I, I was having a. It's really nice, and I kind of do want it, but at the same time, I'm like. Yeah, but I think you're going to look great as soon as you make. And Zara, it's not like it's not like you've got to deliver it like send it back off. You can come to the shop for a pen. I know, but I'm just like, do I need that? Do I really need it? What the hell? There we go. I'll just hold it here. Hello, everyone. So I obviously went to Lakeside with Layla. I was looking around for jeans, girls. I had a hard time. I don't know if anyone has gone specific jean shopping, but I don't ever recommend it don't ever go looking for jeans just stumble across them and if you find a good pair get them don't do a jean shopping day because i want to curling to a ball it was the most depressing day of my life tried on about 24 pairs of jeans did i buy one no did i like the fit and look of any no i felt like a heffalump oompa loompa awful 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 i have no jeans that fit me at the moment and i really really wanted to get some and no the answer was no so i am gonna try at zara online oh god i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to order like 500 pairs 500 different sizes and pray that one fits me nice and then return all the others which is shit but i'm gonna have to do it i have just finished a really really good live i've just got home well I drove to the car park um, with Ruby hair extensions, it was super fun. It went so fast, so nice to do something that wasn't clothes just for a change uh, and like mix it up. It was really fun. Good morning. Ah, uh, I'm so sleepy. I tinted my eyebrows last night. Can you tell? Uh, yes, you can because they're very dark, but it is what it is. Had a lay in this morning, but I'm pretty sure I ended up just going to sleep really late last night anyway. So, not looking any better. I have packed up some boxes though, but I just got delivered a really exciting parcel. So, I never buy myself anything ever. And I treated myself to. a pair of sunglasses that i haven't even tried on but these were on a discount so they were meant to be um 230 pounds and i found them online for 160 and i was like oh my god they were on like a massive sale i've not tried these on 
I'm scared. What if they don't suit me? They're small, which is good. I need to go and have a look in the mirror. I need to evaluate whether I think these are cool or not. Um, I actually can't see out of them, but yeah. Like, I can't see my screen. They fit nice. After much deliberation, deliberation, me and Chia have decided that they do, in fact, suit me, and I do look like a bougie. Bitch. This is what we're doing. So I'm putting all of my towels and bedding in here. I'm gonna literally take, keep out one bedding thing and just wash it and dry it and put it on in the same day because I don't need any more out. So washing and towels are gonna go in here. I'm gonna keep two towels out. Everything else can go in there. I've packed up all my jeans, hoodies, tracksuits, joggers, coats. This is all gonna go into storage. Um, and I just need to keep on, I need to do like three boxes a day and eventually it'll be done. I'm going to do all the kitchen stuff, like I have so many bowls, I mean half of them are on the washing, but I've got so many like bowls and plates that I just don't need because, um, well, I don't need them because I haven't got a house. Uh, so that could all go in storage. Um... Yeah, so it is literally just packing up my life, girls. This is my last day with my short hair. I hope I'm going to enjoy the long hair life again. I'm so used to having short hair, and it's so easy to manage. I hope that I'm going to enjoy the time. I mean, I can always get them taken out and then put back in whenever I want them in, you know. Um, it's not like a permanent decision. Um, right, girls, I'm here. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. This is what it's looking like. My camera does not focus. There we go. This is the dreaded machine. Can we just get crazy? On the camera, oh, you can see the fashion. Girls, I can't tell you how much this hurts. I don't get numbing because I'm allergic to it, so I have to just brave it. Feels like almost uh, hot oil. Ooh, being flicked at you. <laughs> I actually hate the tattoo removal so much. Girls, I can't get numbing. I used to use that TRX numbing cream. And it honestly, it gave me the biggest allergic reaction I've ever had in my life. My whole arm swelled up hot, red. I had to go A&E. It was awful. And I thought it was the laser, but it was actually the numbing cream. Because then once, I was late for my appointment, so I couldn't make it. But I'd already put the numbing cream on. And my arm started swelling up and doing the same thing. And it was awful. So, yeah, now I just have to brave it with no numbing, which is great. But it's done for another six to eight weeks. So, hallelujah. Hopefully, by the end of the year, this tattoo will be gone. We were just talking about it. And, um, like, it's taken a while to go. But it's better to go slow and steady and pace yourself rather than go in with a really, really powerful laser because it can lead to, like, keloid scarring and stuff. So it's just not worth it. Um, but I will leave her um, page down below. She's in Essex. It's MCA Skin, Spe MCA Skin Specialist. And, um, yeah, she's amazing. And I trust her so much. And she does the best facials as well. So you should all check her out. Um, but I'm going to head home now, pack up some more boxes. I need to eat, get ready. And then it is work, work, work time. Doing what I do best. Whipping up some scrambled egg. My favourite bread. I've got some apple juice. My toast is toasting. We're ready to go. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Hey girls, this vlog has been awful. I'm well aware and I apologise, but... Oh, what can you do? I feel in a really sad mood. If I think about it too much, I will cry. I can't lie. I have just had tears. But I'm about to go into work. This is why I mean, you can have such a brave face like you're freaking... Like, I will walk in there and be on the live like, what? And it's like literally 15 minutes ago I sat in my car crying. Whatever. I'm going to win the lottery tonight though. So.
so I won't be feeling this sad for much longer, bitch. I'll be a millionaire. That is the attitude we are going with. Right, I need to drive into Bobby's. I always pull over um, just down the road and just sit there. If I'm early, I just sit there for a bit, chill. Sometimes I have been known to have a nap. Girls, I did a really bad thing. <laughs> I got some salt and pepper chips and oh my gosh, today smell insane. <clears throat> Girls, when I tell you, I have been being so healthy and not having anything bad to eat, like I've been eating so good. Oh my God. Oh. Girls, <laughs> the fact that I have just picked them up, I'm not, I mean, I'm sitting and eating them in my car because I can't take them into Harley. I feel like I'm committing a crime. Oh, they are so good. Fuck me. I asked them to do them crispy because sometimes I think I'm a bit soggy in the bag. Now I've done them to perfection. Girls, if you are um, from around the Rayleigh Hockley, I mean, I travel from where I'm living, Leon C, down to Rayleigh to literally pick up this Chinese. So if you're just around the area, you know, go to Golden Palace. It's the best Chinese you'll ever eat in your life. That's so hot. Fuck me. Oh, but so good. I haven't eaten a chip in so freaking long. Saying that, no, I went to Nando's dinner and I got chips. But I mean, like a fast food Chinese chip, basically. Oh, chef's kiss. I'm not going to eat them all. I'm not going to eat them all because I've been so good. I'm just going to have a little indulge. I probably will eat them all. Right, anyway. I'm going to drive and munch at the same time. When she said I'm not going to eat them all. <laughs> Who am I trying to kid? Who was I trying to kid for that, like, 10 minutes of time? Who believed that I was not going to eat them all when I said I wasn't going to eat them all? Did anyone believe me? I didn't believe myself, but. <laughs> I just scoffed a whole bag of salt and pepper chips and he would, ah. Oh. He loves the salt and pepper chip. But I'm gonna go upstairs now and act like I'm starving and I haven't eaten anything. And I'm just like, oh no, no, I don't want any food. No, I'm not gonna eat. Trying to, you know, Get in shape for Dubai. Everybody like, you smell like Chinese. Do I? Do I? You smell like you've just had Chinese egg like. Really bizarre that. I don't know what that would be. Anyway. I'm going to the evidence. Goodbye. Good morning! I slept with my hair in that slicked bun yesterday and I have woken up looking wild. Um, so, a little bit annoyed this morning. So, my alarm went off. I don't know where I'm taking you. I don't know what I'm doing. My alarm went off this morning to get up, get ready to get my hair done, which you guys know I was so excited for. And, um... I got a text from my hairstylist cancelling, which was a bit annoying. Um, so I've started packing up all my stuff. I don't even know what to keep out and what to not keep out anymore. Um, yeah, so I got a thing from her cancelling, um, which because she's got work, but it's annoying because I obviously turned down work to do this live for her. Um, but whatever, we've rearranged it for later on tonight. Um, so I am going to get it done tonight. 
so it's still being done today but it just means I've got a whole day off and my work for tomorrow got cancelled so a little bit annoyed that I've got two days off with not working which means not getting paid because obviously it's self-employed life um but it is what it is this stuff like this happens um you can't really rely on people for your income but then again you have to at the same time when you're self-employed which is a little bit annoying um but i am going to just pop on the i thought let me i might as well do a hair mask my hair feels like shit i'm gonna pack up some boxes i just don't even know what to pack up oh uh, i'm in that mindset where i'm like what if i need it yeah but what if i need it what if i need it and i'm like i don't know so i need to pack up my i need to pack something i need to pack something <laughs> Oh, uh, I just don't even know how to start, girls. Honestly, it's the most... Uh, it's the most draining thing ever. And I need to film some TikToks, but I wanted to have my hair done in them. But I'm just going to have to have short hair. It is what it is. So, I'm going to pop in my Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Mask. It is unreal. I got sent it, and I've only used it once, and it was so good. So, I thought, right, let's pop that in today. I felt a bit sad today. I just said to Chia, I'm going to have a cry and then I'm going to pick myself up and get on with my day. I feel like it's um, nearly the time of the month and everything is just a lot. Um, so, yeah, my day has changed, but I'm going to try and make it positive and productive regardless. So, I'm going to crack on. I need to get my suitcase down. Woo! And I'm going to start packing that as well. Just bits that I know I want. I need to plan my outfits. I'm gonna I am going to go full content creator mode in Dubai. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see what it's actually going to be like. Just don't know. Obviously, it's not going to... It's not. It's very different to just going on holiday. Because I'm actually going there for Harley's fight. Oh my gosh, girls. It is happening. It is happening. I'm gonna get my hair done. I did try to record a um, makeup tutorial today and my camera died. And then I had to charge it and I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna do it another day. Girls, the hair is done. That took so long. I can't lie. I, I was really, really excited to get the, short, the long hair in because I was like, oh, what is this short hair? I don't know if it's just like I need to style it myself because I'm never happy with the way it is like curled or I actually don't know how I'm feeling about the really long hair. I can't decide. I might have to have it cut a bit. I feel so indecisive. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> oh, anyway. I will check in with you. I'm just going to pop to Harley's mum's. I've got to give Kenya some tablets. And yeah. Don't know what I'm going to do tonight. It's so late. It's like half eight. But it's still quite light. But also dark at the same time. Hello my girlies. So. After much deliberation. I have decided. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. I'm not making any executive decisions on my hair until I have curled it myself. So that is what oh, I've started to pack everything away and I literally have no belongings anywhere anymore. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna curl my hair just because this isn't it. And I might even go to my hairdresser and get some layers cut in. Switch Do you know what it is? I think I'm just having a crisis. I've gained weight. I took my hair out, hated it, and I was like, I need my hair back. That's gonna make me feel so much better. I put my hair back in and I'm still feeling the same way that I was. And I'm like, <sighs> what is going on with myself, mate? I don't know who I am anymore. I'm hoping let's curl this. Because it's not even like I can say, let me put my full glam on and then see what I'm thinking. Because I've bloody got full glam on. So, I think it might have been the way she styled it. 
Hello everybody. Um, didn't film last night because I just couldn't really, it was a bit loud. Um, and me and Harley are now going to track down an Amazon parcel person because we can see him. He's literally like three roads away from us. So we're gonna see if we can hunt him down. Um, are you feeling camel shy today? Guys, I don't know if you can see that open boot in the mirror, um, but we found him. <laughs> He's looking for a parcel now. He was like, you tried to find me? <laughs> Just been driving around like a madman. Bless him. Aw, oh, he seems sweet. Babe! Hello! with Kenya filming some TikToks look down and I have blood on me and I was like she did catch she caught my lip but I was like who is bleeding I am oh my god She's caught my mouth. Morning! The sun is shining! I'm not even going to show you out there because it's a shit view. I'm going to go walk the doggy. Dinner tonight. In case you forgot, what are you on my hair? Hello, girls. So, I've had a bit of a nightmare, really. You can't see me, but hello. Um, my day has been just hectic. So, I went into the dogs for a walk, and I obviously didn't take my camera because I can't hold a dog and my camera at the same time so i took the dogs for a walk and then i saw a house that had just gone up for sale um, and i rang the estate agent and i said like oh can i book a viewing blah 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 when can you do so i booked it originally for tuesday and then i said on the off chance I don't suppose they're in today because i'm literally just down the road i was like a 10 minute walk from where it was so I was like, I don't suppose I'd be able to get in there today. And they said, yes, you can. So I went there. It was nice. The garden was amazing. But the bedrooms and the kitchen was just too small. So it was just, like, it was lovely, but it was just not the one for me. Like, I didn't feel inspired or, like, you know, when I went in there. So, um, yeah, I didn't, didn't get the right vibe to London to go to STK with Jazz and Neve from my modelling agency um, the guy next to me just nearly crashed into the car <laughs> just nearly crashed into the car because he was looking at me that is so embarrassing um, imagine if he'd actually crashed um, yeah so I'm on my way to STK for dinner with the girls and I'm running late and there's traffic and I don't know where I'm going to park. I might just park really recklessly. <sighs> Nearly dropped off the vlog, didn't I? Um, so I thought I'd continue it this week. It's Tuesday now, the following week to when I started the vlog. Um, got long hair still. Had some layers cut in it today because I just wanted it to look a little bit more natural um tiktok shop parcel came today this is the heatless curler so i'm actually going to pop this in um but i just wanted to update you you know it's been a stressful shitty week i lost the house guys i say i lost the house it was they like said yes okay like agreed to the offer and then 
his daughter decided that she wanted to buy it so he said um so he said that he wasn't even sure she'd be able to get a mortgage so just like to hold on so i was like okay there's still hope i still might get it and i got the news was it today or yesterday i don't know it's actually been like oh, so got in there is nothing around at the moment i'm having to pack up my house to leave stress honestly it would literally bring me to tears um ugh. it's just like everything going in storage and all that shit Oh, it's just very stressful. There's nothing on the market at the moment. No one is selling. So, there's literally nothing around in my price range. And it's very stressful. Because I'm obviously leaving this flat in three weeks. Um... Well, I've got this week left, this week here, next week I'm in Dubai, and then I leave the week I come home. So yeah, it's just stressful. I'm working non-stop to try and earn money to be able to go Dubai and take the time off for Dubai, because I've seen myself employed. First world problems, I know. Um, but yeah, I'm stressed and i can't put any of my stress and sadness on Harley because he's got the biggest fight ever coming up so it's just one of them ones you know when you're just suffering silence with yourself um i want to film a tiktok with my I hate this color so <gasps> what have i just put on my head Oh my god, I think that was eyeshadow from my sponge. No. And now we wait. I'm going to just take my makeup off, get in bed. It is a 5.30 start in the morning, so I'm really hoping that this works so I don't have to go over my hair. I have to add like one or two curls. Anything will be better than having to do a full head of curls in the morning. If not, it's going in a ponytail. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I must have got about five hours sleep. No joke, I am absolutely shattered. Oh! And this, I woke up and it was literally clipped all the way back here. So, I'm going to leave it to take out until I've, um, until I've done my makeup. And then I'll assess just so it can get like, an extra curl to it, I don't know. I just hope this goes right, because I literally, I literally need to leave it an hour. Oh my God. Stop it. Wow, I'm over the moon, and also late, so I need to go back. It's gone unreal. I'm so happy. I'm going to use that every single night. Girls, I'm going to link it on my TikTok. So if you do want to grab it, it's literally like £6 with delivery. Um, It's going to be linked on my TikTok. You need to get it. Hey, guys. It's Nicole. Um, so it's actually been a good few days now since we last saw each other. Life has been... Ah, oh, when is life not hectic for me at the moment? Oh my god, guys. So, everybody wanted an empty house. Not an empty. I, everyone wanted a house tour, an apartment tour, a flat tour, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I'm leaving. Um, but I have just cleaned. So, I thought, let me, um, let me give you a tour. So, this is my gorgeous flat, which I am... Sadly leaving, very upset about it. Ignore the black sack. So come down the hallway. We've got my little sideboard. 
um, some washing here. Then we go into the boudoir. Um, so we never really finished decorating in here, to be honest. Like we didn't get long curtains or anything like that. These are just ones from my bedroom. Um, so yeah, we've got the bed. I mean, we didn't decorate anything in here. Suitcase, I've gone on holiday, washing. Didn't put the TV up or get a unit. Got my little drawers here and yeah, little window. This is like a big um, balcony, but only the, the two flats on my floor open up onto that, onto that. So it's like we have a private big balcony, which is nice. So yeah, this is the bedroom. It's so spacious in here, girls. I'm honestly gonna miss it so much. So straight forwards we'll go. Um, this is the kitchen. Um, kitchen lounge area so got my washing up everywhere um, so yeah this is the kitchen and then you twist around and it is the lounge so again we didn't really decorate in here I mean excuse all the boxes I have to start packing and um, so yeah so far more boxes packed down there little curtains and yeah this is the so this is the two ground flats. Um, so it's just me and number one that I open up onto that. Um, so it's like we have a big balcony, but to be fair, we don't really use it, can't lie. Um, did have a mirror wall here. They all just fell off, which was scary. So only half's left, but I made that. Um, so yeah, TV. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the lounge kitchen area. Again, it's so spacious, isn't it? Honestly, because I'm now buying somewhere, it's you really realise how spacious this is. And I'm just like, wherever I go, it's going to be a downsize because obviously I'm buying it. Whereas this is renting. Um, here we pay £1,225 a month so it is like a bit it is expensive for a flat but it is a three bed and it's just so spacious and I'm going to be crammed into I feel like wherever I go is going to be small compared to this and I love the feng shui of this like so you come out of your lounge and then we go down to the hallway you've probably seen this maybe on my TikTok um, so obviously boxes, ignore. Um, yeah, this is the hallway. It is me in my gold mirror. And then we've got our three remaining rooms. So in here, I mean, I've started packing away. All, like, I haven't got any of our mats or any nice decor-y stuff out anymore, really. I've started packing it all into that box there. Um, but yeah, bathroom, really, really gorgeous bathroom. Um, so nice, honestly. I can't fault it guys, I'm going to be so sad to leave. Um, we've also then got the spare room, this is literally our junk room, <laughs> like we never even unbox these boxes, it's just rubbish. Um, and then we have our balcony, which has just got all of Harley's smelly gym stuff on. Um, so yeah, we never really did anything with this room. Probably would have if it if we if we bought it, we would have, but we didn't. And then in here again, it's messy at the moment. I have started packing away all my clothes. Um, and this was the walk-in wardrobe. It was all colour coordinated before I started trashing it. Packed all my trousers, and yeah, this is it. Haven't tidied that, so ignore that. But yeah, so that is my little apartment and. I'm really going to miss it. Like, I'm so sad. I cry whenever I leave anywhere that I've lived. And I will, even though I don't like the location of this. Um, I am really going to... I'm really... I thought that was coming from outside my door then. But I think it was the TV. Um, I'm really going to be upset to leave. I'm really upset. But yeah, this is my little apartment. And I love it so much. I'm gonna have to leave it. <laughs> and it makes me so sad. Oh, guys, I dropped Harley to the airport this morning. And yes, I cried. I'm gonna see him in four nights. But 
I have such bad FOMO. I wish that I went. I don't know why I decided I needed to work. But look at the state of me. I don't know why I decided that I needed to work. Um, two days next week. It's just obviously I'm self-employed. As soon as I don't work, I don't get paid. Um, but today is the coronation. It's coronation day. We are getting a king today. Um, I'm going to watch Merit at first. I've got holiday prep today. I need to get my nails done. I'm going to get something cute on them for Harley's flight. So cringe. I know. Um, yeah, so I have got nail prep. I'm going to pack. I need to... Can I balance you here? Maybe I balance you. Oh no, because I actually need to get to the coffee. No worries. Um, but yeah, I am going to get my nails done. I need to go and get my toiletries. I need to go and get some paint. I need to get, what else do I need to get? I did make a whole list. I need to give myself a bikini wax. I want to do an LVL, eyebrow lift and tin, and all that jazz. So we're going to have a holiday prep on this vlog because I think it was really shit. So let's end it on a high. And there you go, berry compote, strawberries, mascarpone, buttermilk pancakes, maple syrup, 10 out of 10, yes please, thank you so much. This is made not going to Dubai, 1% better. You need a TV when you have got a TikTok live. may be seen in all the earth. Rose Hudson Wilkin, the former... Speaker that crown must be really heavy. Bendy bitches. God, guys. I did an LVO on myself and a brow lamb, but the brow lamb didn't go very well, but it is what it is. My God, where have I been? Well, curtains are down and filled, TV off the wall and filled boxes everywhere my house officially is a shithole and i have nothing i've come over with the worst anxiety horrible yeah horrible upset belly but most of the stuff now is packed like i've done some washing it's just boxes and boxes everywhere my wardrobe <laughs> These are the stuff I'm keeping out. So like I've got like a little bit of clothes, got some tracksuits, some trainers. I haven't done this yet. And obviously Harley's stuff at the back. And then literally just boxes. I've got nothing left. And then last but not least, packing for Dubai. Got no curtains in here, which is kind of peak, but it is what it is. Um, but I'm now going to go back to the dogs. I'm going to take them for a walk because they're at Harley's mum's, but they're obviously not there. So I'm back and forth like a yo yo. So I'm going to go back there. And then I've got to do myself a bikini wax um, and just prep myself for Dubai. Yeah, bikini wax. Um, what else have I got to do? I don't know, just relax and just try and chill out a bit because I've not felt great and it's been such a warm, nice sunny day today and I've not been in the sun. Might just go and sit in Harley's mum's garden for a bit and then take them for a walk. But yeah, that is what I'm going to go and do now. So I'll see you in a bit.